What is going on guys and girls, my name is Van Gilf and today we have got another uncommonly used squad builder. In goal we decided to go for Rufier, the informed goalkeeper who plays for Saint Etienne. Um, he was a very uh, kind of hit and miss goalkeeper, I didn't enjoy him too much, he let in some very, very, very easily saveable goals, like if I had someone like Mandanda in goal he would have saved it. Um, but with that being said, his stats do actually look quite good, so I don't know if he just had a shock off of me or not. To get the perfect chemistry, guys, we have put Kurt Zuma centre-back in there. He's got loads of pace for a centre-back. A non-rare silver centre-back, and he was actually quite good. The defence was fairly decent with his team. To say they're not gold players, they were still quite good, and of course, you know why. Pace, pace, pace. But we're going to go on to the next one now, and it's a guy called Taravel, and he also plays in the same league as them. He's French as well, so we've got a good strong link in there. Left-footed with a four-star weak foot, which I don't often see with centre-backs. Uh, again, very pacey, pretty decent at heading, pretty decent at defending as well. So this back three, they seem quite good. This little like triplet of French players we have. Not too bad. This team is like an Eredvisa slash French team. At right back, we're going to go for Rod Fanny. I don't think he's used that often. Usually people, when they go for right backs, they go for Conco instead of him. So I stuck Rod Fanny in there for chemistry reasons and for the fact that he's an absolute legend. He actually gave me a shout out on Twitter and he also commented on a video because I did a review of Rod Fanny's team this season and... Um, he found it, he commented on it, and he tweeted it out, and that was like such a good day, it was amazing. I got so many views out of it, so many subs, absolute legend of a guy. Uh, we've got Eric Peters left back. Um, I was originally going to put Butner in there, but then I thought maybe he gets used a bit too much for the silver left back, so decided to go for Eric Peters, plus this way we get strong chemistry with the centre midfielder anyway. Uh, Eric Peters was quite good, but if you are after a Dutch left back, I would say that Butner is quite a bit better, to be honest with you. The first centre mid we've got is this guy, it's called Leroy Fur, and he's such a good player. I didn't think he would be this good, but if you look at his stats, they're kind of all they're all around 73-ish. They're all fairly decent, but in-game I scored an absolute rocket with him. He's really good at defending, he's always up and down the pitch, always in the right place when you need him. Really outstanding centre mid. Uh, possibly an alternative to Strootman or Mayer, who, whoever you use in Eredvisa. Maybe you should try him out one time because he was actually quite good. We've got Nigel De Jong here now, and Nigel De Jong is very good defensively. Going forward, not so great. It didn't score a goal with him at all, I don't think. And Defensively, he was good. He, he put in some good tackles. He reminded me a little bit of Joey Barton's in form. He was in the right place at the right time, as I said, with Fur on the left-hand side. Fairly decent, but I think I preferred the other midfielder, which you're going to see now, from the same club, but he is French, so there's a little link there with a French for you. Um, Matthew Flamini, he used to play for Arsenal. He, I don't, can't remember him being amazing at Arsenal, but hey-ho. And Flamini's dribbling is really good, by the way. He's dribbling on card. It only says 75, but he felt like the ball just stuck to his feet. I don't know if he's got a speed dribbler trait or anything like that, but he seemed like a fairly decent player. Unfortunately, I didn't get many goals with him, if I even got any, to be honest. This right winger we've got now is called Roy Behrens. He's got a 5-star weak foot and 4-star skill moves. And he's very underused. I, I don't know if I've ever seen him or played against him, but he was so good. Scored a couple of goals of him. Fairly pacey. Fairly good at dribbling. Got a fairly decent shot on him. He's got the 5-star weak foot, so you can cut inside and shoot, or you can just cross the ball and with his stronger right foot. Really decent player. Same goes with this guy on our left-hand side. We've got Depay, who plays for PSV in uh, the Eredivisie. Again, usually when people use left midfielders from Holland, they go for Elia or Afalai. I decided to try to pay out and fairly decent. We got a few goals of him. Very pacey, very good at dribbling. Likewise with Behrens on the other side. Very, very decent player. Um, I would advise you try him out just for his pace, to be honest, because he felt a little bit better than 80-something. It felt like a, you know, a low 90. And we're going to go for the only bronze player of the team now, guys. It's a very mixed hybrid, this. I, I really enjoyed using it, though. It's really fun to use. And it is Jerome Lumu, and he was incredibly good for a bronze player. I picked him up for as little as 250 coins. That, to most people, is absolutely nothing. And I used him playing against gold opposition, gold defenders, gold goalkeepers, and he scored quite a lot of goals for a striker. He got 5-5, five five, I think. Very pacey, great finish. Left-footed with a four-star weak foot. Very good team. If you have enjoyed this video, guys, please remember to leave a like, comment, and as always, subscribe. And if you do have any players that aren't used often, please leave a comment and let me know to use them for another episode. Goodbye.
It's not that bad